Hey YouTube, I'm back again with my second video. Um, this video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, the spider plant. Um, I have three different ones. This is the smallest one that I have with a nice variegation to it. It's kind of mixed though. But yeah, it's a really pretty plant. That's what that one looks like. Then the next size I have is this one, which is also a little variegated, nice white going down the middle. And if you notice, the other one has the white edges and green in the middle. And then this one is the opposite with white in the middle and the green edges. Very pretty. And as I stated in my previous video, I rescued this one a while back and it was really um, dying. It was very um, droopy, um, no health to it, no anything. It was just basically getting ready to die. But spider plants are very tough and it pulled through. My next one that I have. I think it's used my other plants in the background there getting some sun as you can see it. Um, the next one that I have is the biggest one, which is this one. This one is in the eight inch pot. Oh, that's what I should mention. I'm sorry. This one is in the six inch pot. And that one is in uh three point eight or four inch pot. And this one is the biggest one I have for right now. And it's in the eight inch pot. Now this one, I've had for the um, longer than the other two. This one was smaller than this one. And I had this since April. Now can you imagine this one starting off smaller than this? And look at the size. And this is October and I had this since April. So, they are very fast growers, which I like. And very, very easy to grow. Very easy. So, um, this is the plant that actually got me back into indoor gardening because I've... Um, Stopped for a while. I uh, had one plant years, years, many years ago, and it was actually um, a cactus. And somehow, it I uh, wound up getting poked by someone, and of course, it killed it because it just let <laughs> everything that was inside a cactus out. So it was not um, a pretty sight. So after that, um, I just kind of fell back from. Uh, plant life but um, anyway the spider plant like I said is a very easy beginner friendly plant if you think you don't have a green, green thumb this is the perfect plant for you they're very hardy um, very hard to kill actually um, the number one killer in house plants is overwatering you do not want to overwater your plant ever. Put some light in and on. I had to shut the blinds because I didn't want the sun rays messing up the video. But yeah, the number one thing is overwatering. Um, you always want to make sure that your pot has drainage holes. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, my lightning is not good. But you want to make, there we go, I don't want to spit my soil out, but you want to always make sure your pot have some type of drainage holes in it. Never use a pot like this unless you want to put the plant inside. See how that don't have any drainage holes whatsoever, but I use this pot as a catch pot. And the other two have drainage holes at the bottom, but they have little trays, if you can see that. They have the little trays at the bottom with the water. When you go to water it, it drains down in that tray. And I just simply pop the tray off. 
um, after I water the plant and dump the water out. Or as this one you can see I made is a homemade sauce. There's nothing but a top that came off an old coffee pot. You know, I recycle stuff. I don't believe in throwing it away because you can use it later. But um, I use that to catch the water from this when I water it. Like I said, this has very good drainage holes at the bottom. I actually have another pot that I could show you that doesn't have anything in it so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. Sorry, doing all this for my iPad. But that was the type of drainage holes that you want. And this is the same pot as this, but of course darker in color. But you want something similar to this. Um, like I said, so the water could drain out because the root rock could set in and that could ultimately kill the plant. And you definitely don't want that. Especially um, dealing with such an easy to grow plant. Um, the basic care for this plant is pretty easy. Um, they don't need a lot, not a lot of light actually. Um, it prefers indirect sunlight. I had um, very good success with that. Just um, indirect sunlight. With these but as you can see um well move them for the you know film this video so you can see the type of plants that I have but the um they prefer indirect sunlight but every once and again like I do with almost all my plants I will sit it in my windowsill if you can see it through all of my plants I will sit it on the windowsill to give it um no more than three hours of direct sun um and as you can see I have these huge huge windows and I have one on the other side so I gotta kind of still try to filter out a little bit because I don't want the sun beaming down on the plants too harshly so I still filter it out just a little bit so um and I only water when the soil feels dry Um, I always use my sticks that kind of help me guide. Now, you don't have to do this, but you can find a stick similar to this. It's very light in color. Let's use my little mess. I was working on my plants right here, just a little bit. And I will stick it down in the soil. And then, oops, let me try that again. I'll stick it down in the soil. And then if it comes up, I mean, I stick it down early, like two to three inches. But if any soil come up on it like that, I will not water it um, right away. I will wait um, a little bit. Or you could use your finger and stick it down to the first knuckle. And just stick it down in there and um, make sure the soil is um, a little on the dry side um, before you go to water it again. Um, let me see. They also benefit from plant food. Uh, the plant food that I use is Miracle Grow foam or liquid plant food. That's ready to go. I don't use the one that you have to mix with water and all that other stuff um, to make it easier on myself, you know, because I do have a lot of plant life in my apartment and I really don't have time to sit there and mix things up all the time. So I buy ready to go and I've had great success. I mean, all these plants that's right here right now had a taste of the Miracle Girl plant food, even my bonsai tree. Now it is fall where I'm at now and the season's changing. So my bonsai tree, um, like I said, the leaves are a little less on there because of the change in weather, but it's okay. Um, from my research, I know it should grow back without a problem. It did before when I trimmed it down and it looked just like that and the leaves grew back fairly fast. Um, so all my plants I feed with that food and I also use miracle Grow soil um, and it has fertilizer and or plant food in it. 
um, majority of the time. So I try not to over fertilize it because the leaves will get like a black in color. Um, I mean the tips, I'm sorry. And I want to show you this right here. That brown tip that is so typical for spider plants is weird. You know, you can have a, a healthy plant and it still sometimes will go brown like that. Um, and I think it may be the try air in an apartment sometimes, and I do miss these often, so, um, but the air is still dry, so I believe that is the cost of it, you know, to, the tips to brown sometimes. Um, let me see, I know I'm leaving some stuff out. This just is a quick review, um, of how to take care of a spider plant, nothing too serious, because they're very very easy plants um they do like to be uh root bound uh i made a mistake um with over potting these plants and let me tell you don't over pot a plant that is one of the biggest mistakes that you could make i wanted to test it out just to see what happened and stuff like that and you could easily over water i started seeing signs of over watering like the bottom leaves you know, the ones that was coming out, the new growth was, you know, yellow. So once I test that theory, you know, that um, that you can't over pot a plant, well, this particular plant anyway, then I changed it back down to a smaller pot. And so far, so good. Haven't had any issues with that whatsoever. So they do like to be uh, root bound. And majority of the time on a mature spider plant, when they are root bound, they will start producing babies. Now, I don't have a mature plant for you, but every single one of these plants, all three, started off like this one. Or a little smaller, actually. And look at them. Now, actually, this is growing as well because this wasn't, when I first got it, it was nowhere near this, you know, long. Every single one of these started off from a baby spider plant. So, um, in the future, of course, when mine starts to flower and stuff like that, I would definitely do an updated video. But, that has some of the basic, um, cares for, um, the spider plant. So, um, let me see what else. I know I'm leaving some stuff out. If I have to do an updated video, I will. But definitely don't overwater. Um, it's better to underwater than overwater. Underwater, you could kind of fix that, um, fairly quickly, but they are very forgiving plants. So, even if you mess up just a little bit, they should forgive you if you, you know, take the time to uh, nurse it back to health. So, don't overpot, don't overwater, uh, don't even try to, un you know, underwater on purpose, you know, don't keep it on, uh, a tight schedule, you know, um, just always check the soil and make sure that it's more on the drier side um, than anything. Give it pretty good light, lightning. Um, as you can see, my windows are a nice size window, but I also keep this one in the bathroom. And it's no natural light in there whatsoever, and look how well it's doing. I only brought it out to film this video. But it stays in my bathroom and it's doing very well. So as you can see, that they will do very well, um, like in the bathroom or somewhere where it's kind of low light. But always remember, low light don't mean no light. You always want to have some type of light for these plants to thrive. Um, if I'm leaving out anything, or any questions, comments, or anything like that, um, just let me know. And I will try my best to answer them um like i said hopefully i'm not leaving out too much um because they are very easy plants you know it's not too much to them and not that much to say um but you can also follow me on google plus and i do have a blog and i did blog about this um, particular plant so if you want even more information that i may not have mentioned here you can go check my blog out and you can follow me on Instagram, all that stuff should be linked to my Google Plus page. So until then, I will see you later. And remember to always do your part to keep this world clean. Bye.